Seed sources can be viewed, created, and edited from the seed sources selection. Seed sources include both bulk bins and seed boxes. When entering an order, the seed source selection will come from the active seed sources entered here. So to tell whether or not box 1 is active or inactive, the active checkbox will have a check mark in it if it's stated as active. If it's inactive, that will no longer have a check mark in it. So I'm going to move up to bin 1 and once I select bin 1 it brings in the information on the right hand side. The first selection is the name and this is the name that will show up when selecting a seed source when creating an order. The one here is actually the mapping that will be set up by a KSI controls technician so not to be edited by a user. The location is an optional field and it's for reference only for the operator or user. The inventory is how much units or pounds are set up in that specific bin for that specific seed source. This will automatically be removed as orders are ran. So for example, if a 5,000 pound order is ran, the system will subtract 5,000 pounds and the inventory will drop to 65,000 pounds. The capacity is the amount of units or pounds that that specific seed source can hold, the maximum capacity of it. The wheel cal is only used when the system is using a seed wheel and this the wheel cal weight is actually gathered by the user using a beaker and scale provided with the seed treater. The beaker needs to be teared or zeroed out with no weight in it and then gravity filled full of seed and then placed on the gram scale again. That will give you your wheel cow weight in grams. So the range is typically between 1,020 to 1,200 or 1,000 grams to about 1,200. It just depends on the system. It, it can definitely range a lot higher than that depending on the system. The auto adjust feature is when the wheel cow adjusts after each order is complete, the system will automatically compare the target application rate of treatment and the actual application rate and adjust the value for the next run. The pre-act is the value that is populated any time the run auto set is checked. It's these three values, the discharge rate, clean out time, and pre-act. These are all populated when the run auto set is checked from the order setup wizard. The auto adjust is when selected, it will compare the target to the actual delivered amount at the end of every batch and make an adjustment to the pre-act. This will continually help fine-tune the accuracy of the system. The discharge rate is calculated and it is 66 pounds per second. So that will be calculated again when run auto set is checked in the order setup wizard. The clean out time is the amount of time in seconds that it takes for each belt between the bulk bin gate and the scale to clean out. The pre-act is usually only relevant to a bulk bin, a box isn't, isn't using this information. The source type can be selected bin or box and this is this bin or box selection will be translated over to the control page where the graphic will change according to what source type you have selected. The amount type, there are three different amount types. You have a pound unit, which is just regular pounds. You have seed count unit, which is 140,000 seeds per pound. And then you also have weight unit, which for this selection it's set up for 50 pounds. It's typically set up for possibly 60 pounds if you're doing wheat or something of that nature. 
I will point out that when seed count unit is selected, you will create orders in units and you will also have the change in the inventory. So the capacity may not be 100,000 pounds anymore, it will be 3,000 units. So the capacity may be 3,000 units with an inventory level of 2,950 units. And when an order is created for this specific seed source, for 50 units let's say, the system will automatically remove 50 units after the system completes that order and the inventory level will drop. Moving to weight unit, weight unit is will actually look at pounds per unit instead of seed count per unit and this can be set th this can be specified by the user of 60 pounds or whatever the weight unit is. So if a weight unit is selected it'll only look at this specific selection. And again, if weight unit is selected, you will need to set your capacity and inventory to that respective weight unit. The seed variety selection is where you can set up or select the specific seed variety. So if you need to add a seed variety, you, click, you can click on the database to the left of 7G8T3 to enter into the seed variety database. As you can see, there is 20 different seed varieties entered in there. So if you need to enter in a new seed variety, you can select on any one of these varieties and enter in your variety. For example, I will add a new variety of 1AB23A. And then I will move to, to, to select what brand or variety this specific seed kind is. So for this example, as you can see, I've selected cotton. But let's just say your variety is not there or seed kind is not there. You can add this in the, in the database below. So seed kind X. You can enter it there and then press insert and that will add seed kind X to the database. So I will exit out of the database, bring down the drop down menu, select seed kind X and confirm it with the check mark. The brand and company are the same way. If you don't see the brand or company in the drop down menu, you will actually access the database by clicking there and then you can add, you can add it right there. So let's say we have a brand A. To add that to the database, you press insert and then you will exit. So after I do that, as you will notice, you don't see there's no brand A for that specific database. So to update that database, you're actually going to click on the check mark, then go back into it, and then it'll populate brand A. To confirm your selection, you'll press the check mark. And the same can be done for the company. So if I don't see company XYZ in there, I can move over to the database for company XYZ and add company A. And I will note that as you set this up, you will, you will have most of these in there the first couple times you have it entered and you will see most of the information you need in the drop down menu. So entering into these databases and adding new information is it gets less and less as you get the information you need. So again to update the database I need to press the check mark, re-enter it and then find company A. 
Moving down to pounds, this is the total amount of pounds available for that specific seed variety. So for this seed variety, 1AB23A, let's say I have 8,000 or 85,000 pounds of variety 1AB23A. And that will get, that will automatically subtract after orders are ran for that specific variety. An alert can be set only if the KSI automation system is being used with Seed Connects. When that value is hit, an email will be sent to the recipients that are set up in Seed Connects. So this would be the low alert value. The lot number and shipment number are both optional fields and are used to tie a seed delivery back to the respective field, whether it be lot number or shipment number. The seeds per pound, right here, 2950, is provided usually by the seed company's delivery ticket. And when the seed amount is entered using seed count units, this number is required so the system can calculate the number of pounds required to fulfill an order of, for example, 40 or 80 units. So this will be changed according to what the seed variety tag says. To add a new, new variety, you're going to press insert and then it'll bring down that new information to the bottom of the seed variety database. So there's, final, there's two final selections on the form and they're related to the configuration of the site and will be set up by a KSI controls technician. So those will not need to be edited by a user. I will move to a box selection just to point out a couple things. The pre-act, discharge rate, and clean out time are usually not used when running out of a box because the box is set up outside of the bulk system. That concludes the summary of the seed sources. Mm -hmm.